sneeze. A sneeze is a big blast of air blown out through your nose and mouth. Look at those dusty zebras running away. Bless you, Gorby. Well, I hope I'm not getting a cold. You don't just sneeze when you're sick, Gorby. A sneeze forces out things that shouldn't be in your body. So I sneeze to keep the dust out. Exactly. Dust or pollen from flowers can make people sneeze. When you sneeze, your body shoots out air as fast as a flying baseball. That's fast. But sneezes also shoot out lots of mucus with germs. Aw, hi there. Ew. We should cover our noses when we sneeze then. It's better not to use your hands if you don't have a tissue, so that you don't spread germs on things you touch. So instead, you could try sneezing into your elbow. Uh-oh, more dust. Huh? Ha Looks like your body needs to sneeze out the dust too. Huh? 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 Tissue? Let's write sneeze. S N E E Z E S N E E Z E Sneeze Nosebleed. Nosebleeds happen when tiny blood vessels in our noses break. You okay, Marco? I just had a nosebleed. It stopped now. Oh, good. Why do nosebleeds happen? They can happen if something hits your nose, or if you put something inside your nose that shouldn't be there. Hmm, I think I know why my nose bled now. I put something inside that shouldn't have been there. My finger. Ah. The blood vessels in your nose are delicate. They are little tubes that carry blood throughout your body. Hmm? So, that was probably the reason, Marco. Ah, <sighs> at least I managed to stop the bleeding. What did you do? A grown-up told me to breathe through my mouth and lean my head forwards instead of backwards to stop blood trickling down my throat. That's good advice. Then I had to pinch my nose. Whoa. That helps it stop bleeding. You did all the right things, Marco. <laughs> In the end, I did. I need to look after my nose and remind myself that those tiny blood vessels in here just want to be left alone. Whew. Fine. <laughs> Freckles! Freckles are small brown spots on the skin. I have freckles! Look! Mmm, I'm not sure about that, Gorby. Freckles come from melanin in the skin. What's melanin? It gives our skin color. People come in many different beautiful colors. Mm -hmm. So if you have darker skin, you have more melanin? Mm -hmm. You do. 
People with freckles have little spots that contain more melanin than the rest of their skin. But how did I get freckles? Well, Gorby, if someone in your family has freckles, you might have them too. They don't. It's also possible for some people to get more freckles in the summer and less in the winter. So the sun is like a freckle maker? Ooh. But I wasn't in the sun. I was painting. Gorby, I think your freckles are... The best freckles ever? Um... Marvelous melanin spots? Your freckles are paint. Oh! <laughs> Oops. Find the matching numbers. <laughs> Muscles. Muscles help us to move. Hup. Hup. Doing your daily exercises, Chester? Yep. I'm using my muscles to keep fit. Did you know that there are over 600 muscles in a human's body? Even the heart is... 600? How can you fit so many muscles into one body? Some muscles are small. And some are big. Mm. I'm sure I can guess the biggest muscle of all. It's the bicep. Biceps are big, but... But not the biggest? Okay. The pectoral muscle, the chest muscle. Is that the biggest? Nuh-uh. Hmm. hmm. How about these? The quadriceps? That's not it either. Let me give you a clue. Why are you showing me elephant's bottoms? Bottoms! The human's biggest muscle is the bottom. And that biggest muscle's called the gluteus maximus. Gluteus maximus. That's a name I will never forget. Find the matching numbers. <laughs> Feces. Feces, or poop, is made by your digestive system. Hi, I was, um... Did you poop, Corby? I washed my hands, too. Good. Don't be embarrassed. Everybody poops. Do too. Poop is also called feces, and pooping is an important thing to do. But what is poop? The food you eat passes through the digestive tract. It includes your stomach and your small and large intestines. The body takes out all the things it needs. The rest is waste. And waste is poop. The things your body doesn't need. And you know what happens next, Corby. You do a poop. It's important to have healthy poop. And foods like fruit and vegetables contain fiber. Eating healthy helps us form feces that are not too hard and not too loose. All this talk of poop is making me, uh, uh, uh. Do you need to go again, Gorby? Yes. When you gotta go, you gotta go.